do have something to show you today. This picture was taken in the year 2118. Have you ever dreamt of walking with dinosaurs, witnessing history unfolding, or even altering your past? History whispers of time travelers already among us. From cryptic symbols to eyewitness accounts, 20 mind-bending cases unravel. Prepare to have your reality warped as we explore evidence suggesting we're not alone across the temporal stream. Rudolf Fentz. In 1950, a man named Rudolf Fentz, who had vanished without a trace 74 years earlier, resurfaced in Times Square. A New York City police officer handling missing persons cases examined the body of a man in his 30s brought to the morgue. This man had suddenly appeared in Times Square, seemingly bewildered by the surroundings, only to be fatally struck by a cab while crossing against the traffic lights. Among his belongings were coins and currency from decades past, remarkably well-preserved. Additionally, items from obsolete businesses, a letter postmarked in 1876, and cards bearing the name Rudolf Fentz were found. Investigations revealed no trace of Rudolf Fentz in contemporary records. The address on the cards belonged to a business, not a residence, and no one there recognized the name. Fingerprints didn't match any on file, and no missing persons reports aligned with the details of the deceased. Furthermore, his attire and belongings were antiquated, bearing tags from unfamiliar establishments. Eventually, an old phone directory yielded a listing for Rudolf Fentz Jr., whose father had vanished in the 1870s. A search of 1876 missing persons files matched the description of the man killed in Times Square. The case remained unsolved, leaving the mystery of Rudolf Fentz unresolved. The Gentleman with a Mobile Phone A photograph from the 1940s, taken during World War II, has sparked speculation about time travel after a man was seemingly spotted using what appears to be a mobile phone. Although mobile phones were still decades away from invention during that era, enthusiasts of science fiction have raised eyebrows at the possibility of a time traveler captured in an old picture. In the photo, taken in 1943 in Reykjavik, Iceland's capital, amidst a crowd of locals and U.S. soldiers, one figure stands out. This individual, dressed sharply, appears to be gazing directly at the camera while holding his hand to his ear, mimicking the posture of someone using a mobile phone. Some observers on social media have entertained the idea that this person could be a time traveler utilizing advanced technology from the future. While some took a lighthearted approach, joking about Icelanders supposed early invention of the mobile phone, others proposed more mundane explanations. Nonetheless, the image has sparked debate, with opinions divided between those who see evidence of time travel and those who suggest more conventional interpretations, such as the man simply adjusting his ear. The Immortal Vladimir Putin Speculation suggesting that Russian President Vladimir Putin has lived through two world wars could provide a narrative for his controversial conduct in the 21st century. A photo from nearly a century ago has stirred social media, with some proposing that Putin may be immortal. The 1920 image portrays a Russian soldier bearing a striking resemblance to the current leader, a likeness echoed in another photo from 1941. This led some to assert Putin's immortality and time-traveling abilities, rather than accepting him as a mere 63-year-old fitness enthusiast, fond of shirtless horseback riding. The narrative even extends to theories identifying Putin as Vlad the Impaler, or as having lived as Lisa Gherardini, the Mona Lisa subject. However, these claims lack scientific validation, leaving Putin's true identity and capabilities subject to speculation, albeit confirmed as that of a 63-year-old man leading Russia. Alexander Smith. Alexander Smith claims to be a time traveler who journeyed to the year 2118, armed with photographic evidence of the future's events. Smith asserts that in 1981, he undertook a clandestine CIA mission into the future, disclosing details of his experience to Apex TV. According to Smith, extraterrestrial beings will soon engage with Earth's leaders, followed by the outbreak of World War III post a U.S.-North Korea confrontation. Presenting a photo depicting a futuristic cityscape with verdant skyscrapers, Smith insists on the authenticity of his voyage, stating it as a pioneering instance of successful time travel. He alleges to have gained insights into humanity's future, including encounters with extraterrestrial life and dire warnings about global warming's perils. 
Smith forewarns of an impending global conflict, asserting its eventual transformative effect on societal values toward universal peace and cooperation. Bringing from the future. A self-proclaimed time traveler named Edward claims to hail from the year 5000 and has unveiled what he purports to be a submerged Los Angeles. Interviewed in a park he alleges is in Armenia, Edward recounts his stint in a top secret laboratory before embarking on a mission to the future to capture photographs. Presenting a solitary image, he insists it depicts Los Angeles, emphasizing that all future constructions, including buildings and vehicles, are crafted from wood. Edward's assertions include a future where humanity resides on wooden platforms above water, necessitated by melting ice caps due to global warming. Despite the absence of details on construction logistics, he grimly forewarns of a spike in mortality rates caused by post-apocalyptic chaos where survival hinges on scarce resources like bread and water. Humorously, Edward recounts encounters with a nearly millennium old man named Zack and prophecies of mass exodus to another planet driven by the scarcity of drinkable water. The Fighter Jet in Ancient Egyptian Hieroglyphs 3,000 years ago in ancient Egypt, there were claims that pharaohs possessed the ability to pilot fighter jets and submarines, a notion often dismissed as fantasy. However, archaeologists have unearthed remnants of ancient aircraft in various locations worldwide, sparking speculation about unknown aspects of prehistoric civilizations. Notably, the Temple of Seti I in Abydos features a frieze depicting what some interpret as helicopters, airplanes, and a submarine among traditional hieroglyphs. While some suggest these images hint at advanced technology gifted by extraterrestrial or time-traveling beings, most archaeologists attribute them to pareidolia, a tendency to perceive patterns where none exist. The supposed helicopter carving, for instance, is explained as layers of recarved hieroglyphs from different eras. Despite conspiracy theories and digitally altered images, mainstream scholarship maintains that these depictions are not evidence of ancient technological prowess but rather artifacts of historical reinterpretation. Sergei Ponomarenko, The Mystery of Kyiv, Ukraine Sergei Ponomarenko's claim of being a time traveler has captivated TikTok users, igniting speculation about its authenticity. First emerging in 2006, the story resurfaced recently as online sleuths dissected its inconsistencies. Ponomarenko's arrival in Kyiv dressed in antiquated attire and wielding an old camera coupled with his request for directions to a non-existent street, bewildered authorities. Despite his convincing demeanor, skepticism prevailed. Following his arrest and psychiatric evaluation, Ponomarenko produced a 1950s Soviet document supporting his assertion of being 25 years old. Photographs from his camera depicted 1950s Kyiv scenes, including a woman he claimed was his fiance and a purported UFO sighting. The mystery deepened with the discovery of a missing persons report matching his name from 1958. In a twist reminiscent of science fiction, Ponomarenko vanished inexplicably from his facility room, leaving behind unanswered questions. Reports of his disappearance in the 1970s resurfaced, along with a photo supposedly depicting him in 2050, further fueling the intrigue surrounding his purported time travels. The Man from Toured On a scorching July day in 1954, a seemingly ordinary businessman arrived at Tokyo's Haneda Airport sparking existential chaos. His passport indicated he hailed from Taurid, a non-existent country. Despite presenting legitimate documents and pointing out Taurid's location between France and Spain, authorities insisted it was the Principality of Andorra. The man, baffled and agitated, claimed Taurid's existence for over a millennium. Perplexed Japanese authorities escorted him to a secured hotel room, only to find he vanished without a trace the next morning. Dubbed the man from Taurid, this tale has become a renowned urban legend of alternate universes, inspiring books and social media debates. While the story's origins are grounded in reality, retellings often amplify its mystique, leaving the truth obscured. Despite its sensationalization, the legend of the man from Tord stems from an actual incident, although accounts may vary. The 1940 Swiss Watch Chinese archaeologists unearthed a miniature Swiss watch in a Ming Dynasty tomb, believed to have remained undisturbed for four centuries. Discovered during a documentary shoot, the timepiece was found embedded in the soil atop one of the coffins, with its hands frozen at ten, six, and the word Swiss engraved on its back. The peculiar find prompted the suspension of excavation work, with experts from Beijing summoned to unravel the mystery. 
This anomalous discovery, akin to something from a science fiction tale, perplexed researchers. The watch, seemingly out of place in time, posed intriguing questions about its origin and presence in the tomb. Speculations abound regarding how a modern Swiss-made artifact ended up in a 400-year-old sealed tomb. Some suggest the involvement of time travelers inadvertently leaving behind their futuristic possessions. Alternatively, it's proposed that the tomb's security may have been compromised over time, allowing for clandestine access by early raiders or explorers. Ongoing research aims to shed light on this enigmatic artifact, which joins a roster of other out-of-place discoveries challenging conventional understandings of human history and evolution. Greta Thunberg's Twin A black-and-white photograph circulating on Twitter and Facebook, purportedly depicting Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg in 1899, has stirred a digital frenzy. The image sparked debates online, with some asserting it as proof of Thunberg's time-traveling abilities, while others claimed it was doctored or evidence of reincarnation. However, the University of Washington Libraries revealed that the photo has been in their archives since the 1960s and was taken by photographer Eric A. Haig in Canada in 1898 during the Klondike Gold Rush. Thunberg, born in Sweden in 2003, couldn't possibly be the girl in the picture. Originally tweeted by the Cool History account on November 19, 2019, the image captures three children working at a gold mine in the Yukon Territory. Despite the striking resemblance between the girl in the photo and Thunberg, the University of Washington Libraries confirmed its authenticity, dispelling rumors of time travel or reincarnation. Ancient Greek Status with Laptop This ancient Greek tombstone has sparked interest among conspiracy theorists, suggesting it depicts a woman using a laptop with USB ports. According to the theory, the carving offers evidence of a time traveler introducing a portable computer in 100 BC when the marble relief, titled Grave Nyskos of an Enthroned Woman with an Attendant, was crafted. Housed at the J. Paul Getty Museum in Malibu, California, the 37-inch statue served as a funeral marker, showing a woman seated on an armchair while a slave girl holds open a thin folding box. The woman appears to touch the lid, resembling a laptop screen to some observers. Two holes on the side are interpreted as USB ports. A video on the conspiracy theorist's YouTube channel, still speaking out, suggests it depicts a futuristic device. The historian's description refers to it as a shallow chest, possibly representing earthly pleasures in the afterlife or wax tablets for writing. John Titer, the time traveler. In late 2000, a man emerged online claiming to be a time traveler known as John Titer. He alleged to have journeyed from 2036 using a time machine installed in a 1987 Chevrolet, supposedly developed by GE in 2034. Describing the experience, he mentioned the absence of a bright flash, likening the journey to driving under a rainbow. Titer engaged in discussions on an online forum, Art Bell, addressing questions about the future and his life. Notably, he mentioned a mission to acquire an IBM 5100 computer, prized for its ability to emulate various programming languages. Despite skepticism, Titer's predictions gained attention, particularly his descriptions of a future world marked by a devastating war. In 2001, he announced his departure, sparking ongoing speculation about his identity. Investigations suggest links to individuals like Dr. Larry Haber, CEO of the John Titer Foundation, but concrete evidence remains elusive. The mystery endures, leaving room for speculation about the authenticity of Titer's claims. The Time Traveling Shoe Print Discovered in 1968 near Antelope Spring, Utah by Mr. William J. Meister, this fossil resembles a boot or sandal print. What's particularly remarkable is the presence of a trilobite fossil within the heel part of the print. Trilobites, extinct for over 280 million years, pose a puzzling question. Who made these prints millions of years before the evolution of feet? Despite efforts, no alternative explanation has convincingly challenged the apparent truth. A footprint dating back 300 to 600 million years preceding mankind. Could it be evidence of time travelers from our future visiting the distant past? Some speculate on extraterrestrial origins, but such claims stretch credibility. The mere existence of a footprint from that era is already astounding, suggesting a life form from another planet, possibly from another star system, wearing a specific shoe size further strains believability. The Girl from the Future The tale of Alexandria Alexis, a purported time traveler from 2025, captivated imaginations in 1898. Some hailed her, others dismissed her as mad. 
Yet her sudden disappearance on New Year's Eve 1899 added to the mystery. However, reality intervenes. The photo, taken by Napoleon Cerrone, likely dates between 1866 to 1871, conflicting with claims of time travel to 1898. Further, a reverse image search identifies the woman as Grace Rawlinson, an English actress visiting America in the 1870s. Speculation suggests the story was crafted as an advertisement for a steampunk novel. Though Alexandria Alexis fades into fiction, the allure of time travel persists, leaving lingering questions. The Dab The Dab, a popular dance move often attributed to the group Migos, gained widespread attention in 2015 when NFL stars like Cam Newton incorporated it into their end zone celebrations. However, amidst internet speculation, claims surfaced of the world's first dab being performed by a soldier aboard a warship in 1932. Despite circulating online for years, the image allegedly from the 1930s actually originates from the summer of 2016, depicting extras from the movie Dunkirk. The original image underwent alterations, including the application of a black and white filter to create the illusion of a 1930s era photograph. The photographer's identity remains unknown, but a video posted by Richard Oost on July 11, 2016, reveals the context. The picture captures extras arriving at the Port of Urk in the Netherlands for the filming of Dunkirk. The painting with a man holding modern device. A painting from 1860 seemingly predicts the future with its portrayal of modern technology. In Umberto Romano's 1933 piece, Mr. Penchon and the Settling of Springfield, an object resembling a cell phone appears amidst a 17th century scene of Native Americans and English settlers in Massachusetts. Similarly, Apple CEO Tim Cook noted an iPhone-like object in a 347-year-old work by Peter de Hooch titled, Man Hands a Letter to a Woman in a Hall. Despite depicting events from the 1630s, the painting captures a figure in the lower right corner engrossed in smartphone-like behavior, oblivious to their surroundings. Titled Mr. Pynchon and the Settling of Springfield, the artwork by Umberto Romano continues to intrigue internet commentators. Speculation arises about the figure's identity and the object they hold, with suggestions ranging from taking selfies to browsing news feeds. Some even ponder the possibility of time travel, questioning the painting's portrayal of an object seemingly ahead of its time. The Moberly Jordan Incident in 1901, British academics Charlotte Anne Moberly and Eleanor Jordan set off for a vacation in France with plans to visit Versailles. Little did they know their trip would lead them to an extraordinary occurrence now known as the moberly jourdain incident. Despite their lack of historical expertise, they explored the grounds, initially finding them unremarkable until they reached the Salle des Glaces. On their way to the Petit Trianon, they strayed off course, encountering an eerie atmosphere, distant music, and strange officials prompting them onward. They came face to face with a chilling figure, likely Marie Antoinette, before meeting a friendlier guide who directed them to the Petit Trianon. This encounter, reminiscent of pre-revolutionary France, left them bewildered. After a week of reflection, they shared their experience, later documenting it anonymously in An Adventure, 1911. Their inexplicable journey fascinated the world, suggesting a leap through time to witness the final days of the French monarchy. Nicolas Cage and his civil war. Did you hear? Allegations are circulating that Nicolas Cage, an Academy Award-winning actor, may be a vampire. An antique dealer claimed to find a Civil War-era picture resembling Cage and insisted it was him, suggesting he's a centuries-old vampire. The dealer attempted to sell the photo on eBay for $1 million. But let's be real, Cage isn't a vampire. He's been seen in sunlight, shows no aversion to holy items, enjoys garlic, and no bodies drained of blood were found near him. The real explanation? Cage likely invented time travel in the 1860s, using it to accumulate wealth through successful movies. He manipulates time to boost box office returns, explaining his Academy Award win and fluctuating hair length in films. His Superman project was likely sabotaged to hide his secrets. The evidence may vanish soon, so cherish it while you can. Time travel during the Cold War. Alleged time traveler Andrew Basiago claims he was sent back on November 19, 1863, to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, the day Abraham Lincoln delivered his Gettysburg Address. He asserts he's the boy in the photo shared as evidence of his time travel. Basiago recounts stepping into a plasma chamber in 1972 New Jersey, arriving in 1863 Gettysburg for the cemetery dedication. 
His shoes reportedly vanished during the journey, resulting in oversized replacements. Despite efforts to blend in, he left behind this photograph as proof. Regarding the picture's authenticity, the Library of Congress confirms its Gettysburg origin, likely taken by Matthew Brady. The cleaned-up version is available online, while the original, uncropped glass plate negative is archived at the National Archives. Notably, it's believed to be the first photo of Lincoln at Gettysburg, discovered by Josephine Cobb in 1952. Though intriguing, the photo alone doesn't validate Basiago's claims, yet it offers a glimpse into history akin to its own form of time travel. Lady with Mobile Phone of 1938 the mystery surrounding a video from 1938 seemingly showing a young woman using a cell phone may have been resolved, disappointing conspiracy theorists. The black and white footage depicts a group, possibly factory workers, exiting a building. One brunette dressed in light attire smiles into the camera while holding what resembles a large portable phone to her ear. According to a post by PlanetCheck, who claims to be the grandchild of the woman in the video named Gertrude Jones, the explanation is far less sensational. Gertrude, at 17 years old, worked at a factory owned by DuPont, which was experimenting with wireless telephones. Gertrude and five other women were given these wireless phones to test for a week. In the video, Gertrude is conversing with a scientist who holds another wireless phone nearby. While the claims lack independent verification, if true, it would mean the video predates the first mobile phone by over 40 years. As these cases intrigue us, solid evidence remains elusive. Time travel remains a mysterious concept, rich in possibility. Until proven otherwise, we ponder. Are we confined to the present, or are there unseen paths to other times? Let's embrace the mysteries of the present, awaiting whatever the future may bring.